I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Uh, it was my mom's in the 80s. <gasps> Vintage. So adorable. Thanks. <laughs> that is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. Her films and her characters run the gamut from Mean Girls to The Notebook. Rachel McAdams talks about movies and motherhood with our Tracy Smith. Growing up is fun. Who can forget that special time when things were starting to happen? She's changing from a child into an adult, and it's a little confusing at times. We've all seen films like Molly Grows Up, but the book that might have described those times best is Judy Bloom's landmark and often controversial 1970 novel, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. Just do this one thing for me. Let me just be normal and regular like everybody else. Just please, 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 please. Now, Bloom's tale of adolescent angst is a feature film. Abby Ryder Fortson is Margaret. Hmm. Barely at 28, not even a double A. And her understanding mom is Oscar-nominated actor Rachel McAdams. How's that feel? I cannot wait to take it off. Yeah. Welcome to womanhood. You read a lot of books when you were a kid, yeah? I did when I was little. We met McAdams at Annabelle's Book Club in Los Angeles, a store that carries, what else? Books for young adults. People love this book. Judy Bloom wouldn't let anyone make a movie about it for 50 years. So did you feel that pressure? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> we all just wanted to make Judy proud, really. We're getting committees together over at the junior high, okay. and I can think of at least three that you'd be perfect for. <laughs> oh, Jan, that sounds great. And McAdams does herself proud as a woman trying to balance motherhood and career. I don't want to. She's the queen bee. It's a far cry from her breakout role as the utterly toxic Regina George. Sit down. Meanest of the mean girls. You're like really pretty. Thank you. So you agree? What? You think you're really pretty. I remember where I was when I read that script for the first time and I put it down and I immediately called my manager and said, please, I will do anything to be any part in this movie. Any part. Give me one line. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. But she couldn't be more different than the diva you see on screen. Right Born and raised in a working class family in Ontario, Canada, Rachel McAdams loved theater, but she was also an accomplished figure skater with a part-time job in fast food. One of your first jobs was working at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. What did that teach you? It taught me hard work and I was kind of a bit of a germaphobe when I started working at McDonald's and then I kind of got over that. Not that there was, it's like particularly dirty or anything. I was kind of like an obsessive hand washer when I was younger, which was really terrible as a figure skater because like washing your hands all the time at the ice rink and then going out with wet hands on the ice. I mean, my hands were a mess. Can you still eat McDonald's now? Yeah, oh yeah, I love it. When I was pregnant, I said to my partner, one night we came out of a movie here in LA and um, I said, uh, it was like 11 o'clock at night and I was like, take me to the first McDonald's. I want a fish filet and a chocolate milkshake. And he was like, oh yeah, you're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> but between McDonald's and motherhood, she broke hearts in Hollywood. I waited for you for seven years. Now it's too late. The Notebook which came out in 2004, the same year as Mean Girls, is a film some people can't even talk about without choking up. It wasn't over. It still isn't over. Hi, my name is Rachel McAdams. Even as she read for the role opposite Ryan Gosling, as we see in her audition tape, she had a feeling it was hers. I will always love you, no <laughs> When you were in that audition, did you know, oh, I got this? I felt like my life was about to change. Did it change? It did. It did. Clear, we wait just a second. In fact, it seemed that she was suddenly everywhere. <laughs> in movies big and small. But McAdams says it might have been too much too fast. There's Wedding Crashers, Red Eye, Family Stone. And then you left. I didn't make a conscious decision to leave necessarily, but I did 
I did kind of make a decision to pause. I didn't think I was dealing so well with, with my life changing so quickly and being um, so much in the public eye. I, I was struggling with that a little bit with the exposure. It did allow me to just find myself, center myself in it and, and know I could live without it if I had to. If suddenly tomorrow they all decide, you suck, <laughs> you can't be here anymore, you're out of the club. Well, I left the club first. So. <laughs> and she did leave for about yeah, two years exactly. and turned down parts in movies like The Devil Wears Prada and Iron Man. But when she came back, it wasn't for a star vehicle. She just wanted to be a working actor. Hi there. I'm looking for Ronald Paquin. Yes. Your father Paquin? Her performance in 2015's Spotlight as a Boston Globe reporter on the hunt for pedophile Catholic priests earned her an Oscar nod. You're moving. And now she's found another fulfilling role. What? Really, Mom? Sylvia. Alongside Kathy Bates as a mom. She was putting it together. I don't well, think she was. You're moving? Okay. She shot Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, just after the birth of her second child. And as you're playing this character, you're balancing motherhood and your career. It was uh, real method acting, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I was breastfeeding and pumping on the side and my daughter was five months old, I think, at the time. And so, you know, I just had to give the signal. This is um, the pumping signal. <laughs> it's yes, time. Yes, it's time. They go, <laughs> okay, you go right ahead. <laughs> it's clear she enjoys her life right now. Rachel McAdams has found what works. And if it doesn't, there's always the door. Do you think you might take another step back at some point? I don't know. For me, acting doesn't feel easy. Like, it always feels like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. And, you know, I never feel like I can totally relax doing it. So, you know, doing a project or two a year really, you know, it's, it fills my cup. Right now, it, I'm not feeling like I'm needing to shut it down. Ha, ha, ha.